Hello and welcome to Tech Nations another video today we are going to discuss and reveal self-driving cars with convolutional neural networks, CNN. Humanity has been waiting for self-driving cars for several decades. Thanks to the extremely fast evolution of technology, this idea recently went from possible to commercially available in a Tesla. Deep learning is one of the main technologies that enabled self-driving. It's a versatile tool that can solve almost any problem, it can be used in physics, for example, the proton-proton collision in the Large Hadron Collider, just as well as in Google Lens to classify pictures. Along the way, we'll see how Tesla, Waymo, and NVIDIA use CNN algorithms to make their cars driverless or autonomous. How do self-driving cars work? The first self-driving car was invented in 1989, it was the Automatic Land Vehicle in Neural Network, Alvin. It used neural networks to detect lines, segment the environment, navigate itself, and drive. It worked well, but it was limited by slow processing powers and insufficient data. With today's high-performance graphics cards, processors, and huge amounts of data, self-driving is more powerful than ever. If it becomes mainstream, it will reduce traffic congestion and increase road safety. Self-driving cars are autonomous decision-making systems. They can process streams of data from different sensors such as cameras, lidar, radar, GPS, or inertia sensors. To understand the workings of self-driving cars, we need to examine the four main parts. Perception One of the most important properties that self-driving cars must have is perception, which helps the car see the world around itself, as well as recognize and classify the things that it sees. In order to make good decisions, the car needs to recognize objects instantly. So, the car needs to see and classify traffic lights, pedestrians, road signs, walkways, parking spots, lanes, and much more. Not only that, it also needs to know the exact distance between itself and the objects around it. Perception is more than just seeing and classifying, it enables the system to evaluate the distance and decide to either slow down or brake. To achieve such a high level of perception, a self-driving car must have three sensors. Please subscribe to our channel to be a part of Tech Nation family. Let's move forward with the first sensor which is camera. The camera provides vision to the car, enabling multiple tasks like classification, segmentation, and localization. The cameras need to be high resolution and represent the environment accurately. In order to make sure that the car receives visual information from every side, front, back, left, and right, the cameras are stitched together to get a 360-degree view of the entire environment. These cameras provide a wide-range view as far as 200 meters as well as a short-range view for more focused perception. To overcome these limitations, we need sensors that can work without light and also measure distance. LIDAR LIDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. It's a method to measure the distance of objects by firing a laser beam and then measuring how long it takes for it to be reflected by something. A camera can only provide the car with images of what's going around itself. When it's combined with the LiDAR sensor, it gains depth in the images, it suddenly has a 3D perception of what's going on around the car. So, LiDAR perceives spatial information. And when this data is fed into deep neural networks, the car can predict the actions of the objects or vehicles close to it. This sort of technology is very useful in a complex driving scenario, like a multi-exit intersection, where the car can analyze all other cars and make the appropriate, safest decision. In 2019, Elon Musk openly stated that anyone relying on litters are doomed. Well. Litters have limitations that can be catastrophic. For example, the LiDAR sensor uses lasers or light to measure the distance of the nearby object. It will work at night and in dark environments, but it can still fail when there's noise from rain or fog. That's why we also need a radar sensor. 
Radio detection and ranging, radar, is a key component in many military and consumer applications. It was first used by the military to detect objects. It calculates distance using radio wave signals. Today, it's used in many vehicles and has become a primary component of the self-driving car. The radar data should be cleaned in order to make good decisions and predictions. We need to separate weak signals from strong ones, this is called thresholding. We also use fast Fourier transforms, FFT, to filter and interpret the signal. Localization Localization algorithms in self-driving cars calculate the position and orientation of the vehicle as it navigates, a science known as visual odometry, VO. VO works by matching key points in consecutive video frames. With each frame, the key points are used as the input to a mapping algorithm. The mapping algorithm, such as simultaneous localization and mapping SLAM, computes the position and orientation of each object nearby with respect to the previous frame and helps to classify roads, pedestrians, and other objects around. Deep learning is generally used to improve the performance of VO, and to classify different objects. Neural networks, such as PoseNet and BlockNet++, are some of the frameworks that use point data to estimate the 3D position and orientation. These estimated 3D positions and orientations can be used to derive scene semantics, as seen in the image below. Prediction Understanding human drivers is a very complex task. It involves emotions rather than logic, and these are all fueled with reactions. It becomes very uncertain what the next action will be of the drivers or pedestrians nearby, so a system that can predict the actions of other road users can be very important for road safety. The sensors in self-driving cars enable them to perform tasks like image classification, object detection, segmentation, and localization. With various forms of data representation, the car can make predictions of the object around it. A deep learning algorithm can model such information, images and cloud data points from litters and radars, during training. The same model, but during inference, can help the car to prepare for all the possible moves which involve braking, halting, slowing down, changing lanes, and so on. The role of deep learning is to interpret complex vision tasks, localize itself in the environment, enhance perception, and actuate kinematic maneuvers in self-driving cars. This ensures road safety and easy commute as well. Decision making. Decision making is vital in self-driving cars. They need a system that's dynamic and precise in an uncertain environment. It needs to take into account that not all sensor readings will be true, and that humans can make unpredictable choices while driving. These things can't be measured directly. Even if we could measure them, we can't predict them with good accuracy. The image above shows a self-driving car moving towards an intersection. Another car, in blue, is also moving towards the intersection. In this scenario, the self-driving car has to predict whether the other car will go straight, left, or right. In each case, the car has to decide what maneuver it should perform to prevent a collision. In order to make a decision, the car should have enough information so that it can select the necessary set of actions. We learned that the sensors help the car to collect information and deep learning algorithms can be used for localization and prediction. When it comes to making decisions, we use Deep Reinforcement Learning DRL. More specifically, a decision-making algorithm called the Markov Decision Process MDP, lies at the heart of DRL. We'll learn more about MDP in a later section where we talk about reinforcement learning. Usually, an MDP is used to predict the future behavior of the road users. We should keep in mind that the scenario can get very complex if the number of objects, especially moving ones, increases. This eventually increases the number of possible moves for the self-driving car itself. In general, 
Decision making in self driving cars is a hierarchical process. This process has four components path or route planning. Essentially, route planning is the first of four decisions that the car must make. Behavior arbitration once the route is planned, the car needs to navigate itself through the route. Motion planning once the behavior layer decides how to navigate through a certain route. The motion planning system orchestrates the motion of the car. Vehicle control Vehicle control is used to execute the reference path from the motion planning system. CNNs used for self driving cars. Convolutional neural networks CNN, are used to model spatial information, such as images. CNNs are very good at extracting features from images and they're often seen as universal nonlinear function approximators. CNNs can capture different patterns as the depth of the network increases. For example, the layers at the beginning of the network will capture edges, while the deep layers will capture more complex features like the shape of the objects, leaves in trees, or tires on a vehicle. This is the reason why CNNs are the main algorithm in self-driving cars. HydroNet Semantic Segmentation for Self-Driving Cars HydroNet was introduced by Ravi et al. It was developed for semantic segmentation, for improving computational efficiency during inference time. HydroNet's is dynamic architecture so it can have different CNN networks, each assigned to different tasks. These blocks or networks are called branches. The idea of HydroNet is to get various inputs and feed them into a task-specific CNN network. In the case of Tesla, they have modified this network slightly because it's difficult to segregate data for the individual tasks during inference. In the case of ChauffeurNet, the perception system is not a part of the end-to-end -end process, instead, it's a mid-level system where the network can have different variations of input from the perception system. Reinforcement Learning Used for Self-Driving Cars Reinforcement Learning RL, is a type of machine learning where an agent learns by exploring and interacting with the environment. Partially Observable Markov Decision Process Used for Self-Driving Cars The Markov Decision Process gives us a way to sequentialize decision-making. When the agent interacts with the environment, it does so sequentially over time. Each time the agent interacts with the environment, it gives some representation of the environment state. Given the representation of the state, the agent selects the action to take, as in the image below. The action taken is transitioned into some new state and the agent is given a reward. This process of evaluating a state, taking action, changing states, and rewarding is repeated. In a partially observable Markov decision process pomp, the agent senses the environment state with observations received from the perception data and takes a certain action followed by receiving a reward. Q-Learning used for self-driving cars Q-Learning is one of the most commonly used DRL algorithms for self-driving cars. It comes under the category of model-free learning. Conclusion Self-driving cars aim to revolutionize car travel by making it safe and efficient. In this article, we outline some of the key components such as LiDAR, radar, cameras, and most importantly, the algorithms that make self-driving cars possible. While it's promising, there's still a lot of room for improvement. For example, current self-driving cars are at level 2 out of level 5 of advancement, which means that there still has to be a human ready to intervene if necessary. Thanks for watching subscribe for more and don't forget to share your views in the comments section down below. See you in the next video, Tech Nation.